This is Mike Sylvia with the Investor Guide. I'm here with live with Barry Richard. He's, um, you know him on WBSM. He's the host there um, from 12 to 3 o'clock, so you can always catch him there. So Barry, we're talking about the vigil tonight at the City Hall, um, New Bedford City Hall from 6 to 8 o'clock. So why are you doing this? Because you kind of have led the, the charge on this. Well, this is something really showing unity with the folks in, in Orlando. When something horrific like this happens, um, people generally go through a grieving process and that process is a lot um, easier I think if we all get together and we all grieve together and I think these kind of vigils are very helpful for people to do that. They process their feelings and, and, and you get together with other people who are feeling the same way that you are and um, so it shows support as a community for another community that's going through something. I mean this is the um, largest attack on our homeland since 9-11 and the largest uh, mess uh, casualty shooting in this country ever and uh, so there's a lot to process a lot of things that people are processing right now so I think it's great to get everybody together and kind of uh, um, have one of those kumbaya moments for a little while and then kind of kind of heal and, and go through the process together and that's what was behind all of this so people show up what should they bring you want to bring signs and stuff right what, do you, what should people bring when they come? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. I, I tend to, just so the audience understands, I wear a hearing aid and I tend to read lips. And when your, your face is covered, oh, yeah, sometimes yeah. I have a tough time uh, understanding what you're saying. That's too many years of loud headphones on the radio. Um, people coming tonight to the vigil should bring a candle. We will have some battery operated candles that are being provided by the New Bedford Center. But if you can bring a candle, that's a New Bedford Women's Center. If you can bring a candle, that's great. We're also asking, also asking people to bring signs. Uh, with, with your hometown on it, maybe a message from your hometown. Maybe if you're from Fairhaven or Dartmouth or a Fall River or Westport, wherever you're coming from, just have a sign, you know, hello from Westport, hello from Fall River, and, uh, you know, Fall River loves you, or whatever it is you want to say, so that we can really see a sea of representation of, of southeastern Massachusetts out there. So do your part, uh, share this video, get people out there, bring people. Um you know, it's good good time to maybe even bring your family and friends out there to, you know, kind of understand and let, let the community heal a little bit. Um, well, this is a good way for kids, too, to even begin to process this because, you know, a lot of times you, you, you want to be careful with what your kids are seeing on TV when it comes to all of this stuff. And it becomes difficult for them to understand. And they come and they listen to the speakers and they see the community and they see things that are familiar and people they know and all of that. So it kind of helps them with the process too of understanding what's going on. It's not just some big ugly images on television. It's, it's people that they know and family and friends that have all gathered together too. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. Bring the family and, and, and really come out and um, show some support for these folks. It's two hours and it's not just randomness. So you got an itinerary, let's go through it. So um, there's gonna be a welcome with you and uh, Chris Arsenault from Fun 107. And um, Pledge of Allegiance, God bless America. Why don't you run through some Yeah, of we've got some, um, first of all, Mike Kudo, who is legendary in these parts. Everybody remembers Mike Kudo from Kudo and Mulligan for years and years and years. And uh, Mike's a great local songwriter. He just recently was nominated for a Portuguese Music Award. Uh, the awards, of course, we held right here in the city of New Bedford. So. Uh, he got some international attention for that. Mike's a good friend. He's been around for a long time. I asked him to help me put some together, together some music, and boom, he volunteered to, uh, to handle it. He and his daughter, Lisa, uh, who is also an up-and-coming singer and songwriter in the area, they're going to perform for us. And uh, they're actually going to have a program from 5.30 to about 6 for those people that are arriving and, and getting the position and all of that. And I am told that Lisa does a bang-up version of John Lennon's Imagine, and she's going to perform that before this actually gets underway tonight. And uh, we will have uh, a few guest speakers. We don't want to overdo it. Um, so we've asked uh, the, um, actually the um, um, Inner Church Council of Greater New Bedford's gotten a few uh, folks in the clergy. They're gonna have some inspiring words for us, uh, both as an invocation and as a uh, benediction at the end. Uh, Mayor uh, John Mitchell um, is gonna open things up with us as well. And he's gonna have a few words to say. Uh, City Council President Linda Morad is also going to have a few comments, and Bristol County Sheriff Tom Hodgson. We've invited also some representatives of the L um, LGBT community because obviously this is this is kind of a double hit. This was a, a terrorist attack on the United States, but it was a specific target. It was a gay bar, and it was a hit um, not just on America, but on the, uh, the lesbian and gay community. And many of you will remember that 10 years ago on February 1st, uh, Puzzles nightclub, a gay bar in New Bedford on North Front Street, was hit uh, by evil, uh, a young man, 18 years old, by the name of uh, Jacob Robita, 
uh, went in with an axe or a hatchet and uh, uh, really hacked away three people and shot two people. And um, that was horrific. And the um, local gay community and the regional gay community got together and, and the whole community turned out and supported that community. Because you know one thing about that's great about this country, you pick on one of us, you pick on all of us, and we may have political differences, we may disagree on certain things, but again, you pick on one of us, you pick on all of us. So um, that's what this is about tonight. So. Um, again, we, it was kind of a dual incident where um, it was a terrorist attack on America, but it was also a specific attack on the uh, LGBT community. Uh, so we want to show support. We've got a couple of speakers. Uh, Bev Bocelli is the co-founder of the Former Marriage Equity Coalition and co-founder of the South Coast uh, LGBTQ Network. And uh, she also spoke uh, at a candlelight vigil that was held the night after the puzzles attack. Also, Andy Pollack, he served as president of the Former Marriage Equity Coalition, and he spoke too at that candlelight vigil. Uh, right after puzzles so they're going to have some words for us tonight as well great music um, again uh, rosemary heath who uh, went through a very different type of terror attack if you will uh, several weeks ago may 10th at the galleria mall when uh, her husband was killed by a madman who went on a stabbing rampage all around town and she's going to be with us tonight as well and um, we just want to get everybody together to come and, and, and share their thoughts and, and just uh, and be there for each other be there for, for orlando and the country for that matter so this is kind of unique. You have also all the media kind of working together to get yeah. people there. You have Standard Times, you have the Bedford Guide, WSM, Phone 07. So it's kind of nice to see. It was very working. easy. We, I'll, I'll tell you what, um, I never envisioned that pulling this thing off would be so quick and easy. Everybody wanted to do what they could to help. I contacted you, you were one of the first people I contacted and you said, absolutely, sign me up. The Town Square Media, which is BSM and, uh, and Fun 107, uh, obviously New Bedford Guide. Uh, the uh, LGBTQ network from South, uh, South Coast, uh, New Bedford Women's Center, what can we do to help out? The Interchurch Council of Greater New Bedford, Dave Lima, uh, Michael Lisa Kudo, as I mentioned. Um, I contacted the mayor's office on Monday morning, and by 9 o'clock, uh, Lisa, uh, not Lisa, I'm sorry, Liz and, uh, and Neil had already made all the arrangements for um, going through the permit process for us so we could be downtown. Um, nine o'clock on Monday morning, that had already been done. The police department in New Bedford, uh, they're going to be working at Forest. Uh, we've got the Department of Public Infrastructure is going to be helping out. So all of those ducks were already in a row. Right? Everybody grabs a piece of it and starts putting it all together. It makes the whole thing so much easier. And uh, welcome all of the support from the, the media in town. And um, that helps us to get the word out. Uh, Fun 107 has got a great reach. You've got a great reach here in New Bedford, guys, who are able to really get out there to the communities around us and, and let people know this is going on so that they can participate. Everybody wants to be a part of something right now. I know you I did coverage last night from East Beach and there'll be other vigils that are going on throughout the region this week and throughout the state, throughout the country for that matter. And uh, everybody wants to and needs to feel that connection right now. So this is what this is all about. Yeah, and I think these are important because, you know, people kind of vent on social media but you don't see the person on the other side. Here you get to see each other talk. If you're angry, if you're hurt, this is a chance to see other people that have the same mixed feelings. And yeah. you can't do it on social media. We can use social media to get people out there, but let's actually come together as a community. We don't want 30 people tonight. We want, you know, if we can fill the street with a thousand, that'd be great. But so you do your part, share this video or share the article. Phone 7 has an article out, uh, WSM has it on their website. It doesn't matter whose article, just get it out there. Let's get people Share there. them all. <laughs> Share them all. And call your friends and tell your friends to come too. The weather is going to be great. Come early so that you can find a good parking place. You can always park in the Elm Street Garage um, or in the outlying area of downtown or walk into downtown if you have to. It's going to be on William. William is going to be closed off, um, as it generally is so when we have events going on there. And um, please bring a sign. We really want to know where you're coming from because we want to get a sense of how far out we've reached and, and, and what, you know, what kind of people are coming and where they're coming from and all of that. So. And a good technique I always tell people, when you get there, check in. Let yeah. people know you're there and that's going to help people know, oh wow, I didn't know that was going on. So the, the marketing part is this, but when you get there, check in on Facebook, post on Twitter, get people out there because it's important as a community to show you know, we're hurting, but we're not going to just go, you know, crawl into our houses and hide away from all right. this stuff. And that's the important thing. I mean, you know, people need to become more vigilant as well. I mean, we know since 9-11, we've been hearing this day was going to come. We've been told to watch out for the lone wolves. That was the next phase in all of this terrorism thing. And we're starting to see that develop here. 
and you talk to experts like Sheriff Tom Hodgin, who will be a part of our event tonight, and they have been anticipating this for a long time, and they say there's a lot more of it coming. There are for every Omar, uh, or for you know everybody out there, there's, there's a thousand Omar, so let me put it that way, roaming the streets, at least a thousand of them out there right now, and they're all over the place, and we just know, don't know where they're gonna strike next, but we can't, as you say, crawl into your house and hide in, in fear. We can't do that, they win if we do that, but we have to come together, we have to be vigilant. If you see something that's going on around you that doesn't quite add up, uh, I remember out in San Bernardino, the woman who said, gee, I saw these guys all night long, you know, loading uh, weapons into the garage, but I didn't want to say anything because I, if you see something weird reported, the, the, the worst that could happen is that you're wrong. And maybe uh, you're a little bit red faced, but you know what? Just think about it for a minute. If you don't report it and it is something, think about how you're going to feel then. So um, we don't want to become a nation of snitches and turning each other in and uh, dropping a dime on every little thing that you see. But if you see something that's weird, if you see a backpack left unattended somewhere, um, it's better to be safe than, than to be sorry. So let somebody know about it. Call your local police and they'll evaluate the situation and determine whether or not they need to go up the ladder to the FBI or to whatnot. But um, we've got to move on. I mean, it's we're at war right now. We're at war with uh, radical jihadists, and we just have to uh, we have to live our life, and we have to carry on the good fight. So I was at Grace uh, Church last night. They had a kind of a um, vigil there at six o'clock, and I could see how hurtful people in the LGBT community really work her and I I went up there and I was covering as media and I said I'm gonna go up there and talk and I mm -hmm. did go up there and what I impressed on people was when I first started New Bedford Guide in 2010 we were calling around to get marketing people to spend money and we called um, the place and the first thing they said to us they say you know we're a gay bar right and I said is gay money as good as you know heterosexual sure. money sure but that told me the psyche of them that they were they had this in their head that why would you be calling us we're a gay bar and it kind of disturbed me a little bit to see that um so if you know someone in the, in the lgbt community you need to go out there and tell them you support them because they're hurting right now more than anyone even though it's an attack on everyone well we talk about the lgbt community sometimes as though it's you know these people landed here from out of space or something you know yeah. what they're they're your sister they're your brother they're your kids they're your parents, yeah. you know, they're your boss, they're your co-worker, they're, they're, they're us, it's us. The LGB community, LGBT community is us. It's, it's, it's our neighbors, it's our friends. Again, we don't always agree politically, um, but that doesn't matter. I mean, we're, we're all in this together and we need to protect each other, we need to cover each other's backs. And uh, uh, this is a time you need to, uh, unfortunately when times like this do happen, that's when we all come together and show our support for each other. But we need to do that all the time. We need to do that all the time. Have one big tent and everybody's, uh, everybody's welcome under it. And, uh, we figure out a way to work our differences out like all families do. But I mean, again, we're one family. And then you pick on one of us, you're picking on all of us. And what's sad about all of this too is that we're beginning to learn a little bit more about the suspect. Um, apparently the suspect uh, was a regular at this this pulse nightclub in, in orlando it's beginning to look as though maybe he may have been gay and we're also beginning to learn that this wasn't his first choice for a place to attack it disney may land, have been right? disney yeah. uh, which is also in orlando uh, disney spring and think about that for a moment with all of the kids and everything else and what kind of headlines that would have gotten for ISIS and for all of these jihadists. That would have been a, a wonderful hit for them. It would have been a great thing, blowing up a bunch of kids at Disney. Somewhere between there and here, um, this character decided to um, channel all of this toward something that he was conflicted about in his own mind, and, and that was... Um, Apparently his, his leanings toward being gay and he went after a, uh, a gay lesbian bar instead. And um, we don't know why he did that. We'll probably never know why he did that, uh, why he chose to do that as opposed to doing Disney World. But so this was a targeted crime. That's what I said earlier. This was, it's kind of a dual situation here. While it was a terrorist attack against America, it was specifically targeted toward uh, the gay and lesbian community. And um, a lot more security at Disneyland probably too. Yeah, so I mean, it, it hurts. It hurts a lot that a specific group can be targeted. Um, it hurts a lot that, that we, as America, was targeted uh, too. But um, the uh, lesbian, gay, 
transgender community goes through a lot of this kind of stuff and it's unfortunate that they're targeted often for violence and they're targeted often for other issues and um, so I mean that's why we need to show our support we need to show our support for, the, for, for that community as well as the community in, in general in Orlando because all of the people in Orlando are hurting today not just the, the the gay community all of the people in Orlando all of the people in Florida and all the people across America are, and that's why we're here so let's recap recap what's going on tonight all right, vigil tonight, 6 to 8 o'clock, right in front of City Hall in New Bedford. And we ask folks to bring candles if they can. Uh, we ask folks to bring a sign on that sign. Tell us where you're from. You're from Fairhaven, you're from Westport, you're from Dighton, you're from Freetown, wherever you're from. Just indicate on the sign where you're from. And maybe a brief message, you know, Freetown loves you, Freetown is supporting Orlando or whatever. Whatever you want to say, just say something from the heart on your sign, but tell us where you're coming from. And uh, we have some uh, a musical program. We have a, a speaking program. Uh, members of the LGBT community will be represented there tonight and speaking. And uh, we just hope folks come and, and, and turn out and show their support for not only the LGBT community, but the folks in Orlando in general that are dealing with this thing right now. All right. Thanks, Barry. You're welcome.